Soft robotic actuators are well suited for use in exoskeleton applications due to their innate compliance and low weight. We have developed a wearable soft robotic sleeve that uses fiber reinforced elastomeric enclosures or freeze to provide actuation and stiffness at the elbow for augmented lifting and carrying. Freeze are a type of pneumatic artificial muscle that produce varied deformation when pressurized, determined by the orientation of fibers that are wrapped around their hollow elastic core. We have fitted our prototype exoskeleton sleeve with two groups of miniature free architectures, each of which provide greater actuation force and stiffness to the joint than a single free actuator. This work presents the design and experimental characterization of these architectures. The first free actuator group is the helical group, which wraps around the arm in a double helix formation. When air is supplied to the helical actuators, they contract around the arm in any position and resist movement and extension while allowing free movement and flexion. The helical group can include multiple frees in parallel. We found that the stiffness from helical actuators increased with the number of actuators and pressure. The second group of actuators is the linear group, which contains two linear actuators, one on the upper arm and one on the forearm, with a passive connector at the elbow. The linear actuators are designed to contract under pressure, inducing a flexion torque at the elbow. Linear actuators can include multiple frees in parallel, or they can be arranged in a nested architecture. Nested linear actuators use 3D printed stages with internal air channels to couple the displacement of contracting frees serially without increasing the overall actuator length. The result is significantly improved contraction ratio, which translates to increased joint displacement in the case of our soft exoskeleton. This video demonstrates the basic function of the sleeve prototype. In the depressurized state, the arm is free to move in both directions. As the air pressure increases, the actuators produce a torque and flexion about the elbow. In the pressurized state, there is free movement and flexion, but increased stiffness in extension. We measure joint stiffness by pressurizing the freeze with the arm in the flexed position and applying incremental loads to the wrist, measuring joint angle at each interval. To measure joint actuation performance, we incrementally pressurized the freeze from the fully extended position and again measured the resultant joint angles. We compared stiffness and actuation results for the linear and helical groups with a combined linear helical configuration. We determined joint torque based on the loads and resultant joint angles from our stiffness test and calculated stiffness from these torque data. Helical actuators provided considerably more stiffness to the joint than linear actuators. Due to limited contraction length, the linear actuators only provided stiffness for joint angles below 70 degrees. Below this threshold, we can observe the contribution from the linear actuators to the combined configuration. The results from our joint actuation testing showed that the linear and helical configurations on their own produced similar joint displacements under all loading conditions. The combined linear helical configuration achieved greater joint angles than both actuator groups used individually.